All right, now to our high school football coverage. We start on the east side with our game of the week. It was 5-0 and Push Ridge Christian Academy at 4-1 Sabino. Who did you think would win? Well, it was part of our live poll on our website. And as I take a peek here, looks like uh, well, most people thought Sabino would come away with uh, a victory and hand the Lions their first loss of the season. Let's see what happened with K-Gun 9's Aaron Patterson. 3A South bragging rights are on the line tonight with a battle between two of the top quarterbacks in Southern Arizona, Sabino's Cameron Hackworth and Push Ridge's Bubba Mustaine. Moving on into the highlights. In the first drive of the game, Sabino's Zachary Haley makes the catch to get the Sabercats inside the 15-yard line. Then junior Shamar Berryhill comes up big with the touchdown catch. Sabino leads 8-0. But Pushridge answers right back in the next drive with senior Jake Herbert coming in for the touchdown. Sabino leading 8-7 at the end of the first quarter. Sabino ends Push Ridge's undefeated streak, winning 40 to 27. Next up on the east side, a 2A matchup. The Tanka Verde Hawks host the Tombstone Yellow Jackets. Early in the third quarter, Tanka Verde leading three to nothing. Junior Kaysen Whites takes the handoff and gets the Hawk inside the five-yard line. Quarterback Grayson Bradshaw then takes the ball to the house for the first touchdown of the night. Tanka Verde leading 10 to nothing. The Sabercats end up winning big 31 to nothing. Now 5 and 1, Tanka Verde is one step closer to making the playoffs for the second year in a row and the second time in program history at Tanka Verde High School. Aaron Patterson, KGON 9. And Coach Jeff Boldo doing a great job over there. Let's go to Douglas at Am5. The Panthers' Freddie Luna on the sideline. Remember, he was hurt badly a couple of weeks ago, recovering from a, a back injury. Plenty of action in this one. First quarter, Am5 up 7 0, but Douglas is Ivan Higuera with the rushing TD, and that ties things up at 7. Ampi comes right back, though. Check out Rudy Rios. There he goes. That's a touchdown to put the Panthers back up 13-7. Still in the first quarter now. It is going to be Douglas QB, Lucas Castillo. He puts it up. Kenny Nelson brings it down for the Douglas touchdown. But Ampi comes back with 34 unanswered points. Panthers win big, 47-14, the final in that one. Next stop, Cochise County, Buena. Off to an historic 5-0 start. First time they've done that since back in 1977. KGUN 9's Alexis Ramanjulu in Sierra Vista for tonight's game against Morana. Jason, it's been a 360 turnaround for Buena football, as in 360 yards per game. That's what they've been averaging in those five wins. Taking on the Tigers. Buena entered the game as the favorites, but the Tigers came to play. Miranda's Daniel Hayward took the handoff early in the first quarter for a three-yard touchdown for the Tigers. The Tiger fans had lots to cheer about with their team dominating the game. Miranda capitalized on another short run in the first quarter. This time, junior Andres Taylor found a hole in the Buena defense for a touchdown. Miranda led 20 to nothing after the first quarter, leaving Coach Thomas to refocus his offense. But the Tigers couldn't be stopped. Six seconds into the second quarter, Desmond Robach found the end zone off the jet sweep, putting the Tigers ahead 28-0. And just like that, the winning streak is over for the Buena Colts, who are absolutely stunned on their home field tonight, falling to Marana 55-0. At Loveless Stadium in Sierra Vista, Alexis Ramanjulu, Kega 9. Good job, Alexis. All right, how about Choya at Rincon? Battle of two teams that started the season strong, but have since hit a little bit of a rough patch. First quarter, it is going to be as we listen in, the Rangers' Thomas Montgomery to Cody Gonzalez, not. But the drive stalled. Tough night for the Rangers. Choya wins it in a shutout. They taste victory. 39-0 the final score in that one. Another Cochise County School, Benson on the east side of Tucson tonight to take on Jamal Chapman's Palo Verde Titans. Bobcats already up 20-0 in the second quarter and looking for more on first and goal. That was uh, Dalton Crockett calling his own number and scores. And uh, Benson wins big tonight over Palo Verde. Final score in this one, 54-6.